What's up, guys? This is Michael with Michael Talks Metal, back for what? You know, metal. Only been 106 before this, so welcome to video 107. Our topic today is one of the methods that can be used to inspect a metal for defects without damaging the component being examined. Ultrasonic testing, UT for short, is one of several methods of non-destructive testing. In principle, UT is a simple process. High frequency sound waves are sent from one surface of the metal toward the opposite surface, and if a defect is encountered, the sound waves are blocked or scattered. The larger the defect, more sound waves are affected. A reference standard representing the material and flaw characteristics are commonly used to calibrate the equipment and establish the criteria for rejection and acceptance. Allowable maximum flaw size is often expressed in terms of the equivalent of a flat bottom hole in the reference standard. 564th FBH, for example. Another technique uses the percentage of sound intensity lost as a criteria for acceptance. A transducer is used to generate and receive the sound waves. Various types are used for different applications. The most common are straight beam, longitudinal wave, and angle beam, shear wave. In contact UT, the transducer is in contact with the part through a thin fluid couplant gel that assures efficient transfer of the acoustic waves. In immersion UT, the transducer and part are immersed in a water bath that serves as the couplant. Depending on inspection requirements, the surface finish is a consideration. Hot rolled or rough machine surfaces may not be suitable for producing an acceptable test result. Remember this when attempting to conduct a UT, please. All non-destructive evaluation, NDE, is intended to confirm the quality of a part and requires careful planning. Many parts require inspections at multiple steps in fabrication. If you are a regular viewer of our video series, then you know that things can get very complicated in a hurry. And so this is where I gently remind you to check the specs. All right, this is Michael with Michael Talks Metal. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you have made it this far and you haven't subscribed, please click there. It really helped the channel out. Thank you. Missed last week's video? There it is. Michelin Metals is a distributor and supplier of aerospace metal. Any questions, check the website for more info. Thank you so much for watching. This is Michael with Michael Talks Metal. I will see you guys next Thursday, 10 a.m., same time, same place. I'm out.